this edition of Ask the Expert, I'm speaking with Johannes Fall about the Australian supermarket stocks. Johannes, thanks for your time today. Hi, Glenn. How are you? Good, thank you. You've just put out this special report looking at the Australian supermarkets, Coles and Woolworths. And what are some of the key points that, that you're, you're bringing out there? Look, I think what we, what we did is we had a, a very close look at our investment thesis. And at the core of that is really that the Australian supermarket sector has actually changed significantly when Coles and Woolworths both rebased their earnings about four years ago. And really our, our thesis is that their profitability, the dollars that they earn per dollar of sales, isn't going to return to, to the golden days when it was almost like a duopoly-like margin that they've earned. So our view is that that has changed most likely permanently, or at least for the foreseeable future, with Aldi becoming a, a more dominant force in the Australian sector, um, food retailing sector. So we had a look at our thesis on, on margins at the evidence to date, and really what we've seen in the last few years is that both Woolworths and Coles have, have been successful in stabilizing the their profitability. So margins haven't contracted. And especially for Woolies, they haven't declined to the degree, degree that we thought. We thought they'll end up somewhere around the 4% mark. And Woolworths has been, has been stabilizing them at around 4.7%, so slightly above. But still a far cry away from the over 8% EBIT margin that they were earning at, at the peak. How long, how long ago was that? Was so that was levels? about five years ago. What we're seeing now, I'll see that stabilization has, has really shown that even though Aldi is growing still, the growth is moderating. And also over the last few years combined, Woolworths and Coles have maintained their market share. So the two big players in that space have been successful in, in, if you like, defending their turf or holding their ground. Mm. Where, the, where the share has come from is the I, mostly the independent network. So if you think about the IGA network. With that note, with our research, we found that, and also, I guess, re-examined and also reconfirmed that Woolworths has a narrow economic mode mm. and a larger competitive advantage over everyone else that Coles has. And Wolves also has that competitive advantage over Coles, which has no moat. Mm -hmm. And the reason being, structurally, why we think Wolves has a moat is because of its scale. It just has greater cost advantages. And the cost advantages come from a larger, larger sales figure um, over which they can then distribute and fractionalize their cost base, which is quite similar to Coles. Mm. If you think about the overhead costs, such as running advertising on TV and other things there. On the, on the other hand, Coles has lost market share to Woolworths, although it also has successfully been maintaining its profitability. So we think that, that the outlook now for Woolworths is much more stable given you know that price deflation is easing and for 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 coals we just don't see that yet because they are still losing market share momentarily ali is now has established itself in australia its presence will keep prices sharp will also contain EBIT margin, so the operating margin, the profitability of, 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 of Woolworths and Coles' sales at a sustainable level, but not at those you know, record high for Woolworths, it was above 8% levels, but more, you know, about four, four and a half. That's basically now the range where we see, see, see the EBIT margins for both Woolworths and Coles. Any advice in this video is general advice prepared by Morningstar without reference to your financial objectives, situation or needs.
You should consider the advice in light of these matters and any relevant product disclosure statement before making any decision to invest.